the Chevy J Gasser tonight on Monster Hobbies. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Welcome back, drag racing fans, and tonight we're going to be dragging you back in time with this 1951 Henry J Dragster from Ravel Model King Edition. And what makes this really unique is that this is one of the only representations of a Henry J on the market. I wish someone would do one of these in stock. However, there's our dragster there. The box art is amazing. And I'm sure, race fans, that you want to see what's in the box. So let's go down to our bench and open the lid. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. But this is Friday. But anyway, here is our Henry J model kit. You want to know something that's interesting about the Henry J? When it came out in the 19, in 1950, uh, Henry J actually sold some of these to Sears Roebuck, and the car was known as the Allstate. So depending on how you want to figure that one out, here is our instructions for the Henry J drag coupe. It gives you some information on it. And as you can see, you got to take and cut the windows out of a flat sheet of styrene. There's our firewall and our steering column dashboard. The interior going together, the seats, and the body. And interesting that the upholstery pattern on this is actually correct for a stock version of the Henry J. Or Sears Allstate. <laughs> Now they have the differentials and the rear axles. You get the steerable wheels, posable wheels, and of course all the little wheelie bars, and the big old Ford 427 engine, the big drag slicks, and it's got the flip front, which is part of the series with the Angula and the 41 Willys drag coupe and there's your fenders going together parachute and I always like the Henry J's little window back there and then at the back you get your decal lo plate location placements yes yes if I could speak English it would be good okay and there's our decals old Henry Rides again in a smoking J. All right, let's look at the plastic on this kit. So we'll start with the body. And as you can see, this kit has opening doors and a flip front hood, which is pretty cool. And there's our, our, uh, where you sit down, you know. <laughs> And you can see some really nice rivet and bolt detail underneath here, which make look really good in aluminum. And here we have our chrome, our chrome parts tree with uh, the wheels and the big blower for your engine. Always pretty cool, pretty nice tree for chrome plating. There's our interior panels. You can see the texture on the doors there, the firewall and the support for our radiator as well as the flip nose and here's the rear seat and dashboard there was some other stuff in here I must have popped it out and there's all our driving gear and of course our frame and you get this nice little parachute here too A little piece of glass for our windows oh yeah looks like I was starting on this kit here's the door the front fenders and the hood with the hole in it for the big air cleaner the other door and the other fender but then we have a nice combination of tires with these massive, massive rear tires 
These little teeny skinny skinny front tires. <laughs> yeah, I won't make that voice too often. And that concludes our look at the 1951 Henry J. Gasser. Well, I hope you enjoyed this crazy video where we got to see underneath the lid of the Henry J. Gasser. And now, if you want to see some of the other amazing videos in our series, check them out here, here, here. And like and subscribe to us right here so I can keep that engine running and keep the videos coming. And until next time, drag on.